Let's go. Good morning. Oh, Micah, what's up, buddy? Let's go. Good morning, everyone. Uh, how are you doing? Boing. That that's how you feel like I'm your sunshine, and every time you turn on my stream, you're like boing, just like that. <laughs> hey, good morning, guys. Uh, happy to be here this morning. Uh, it's way colder right now. A wee wee, a wee wee, <laughs> wee wee baguette. <laughs> That's so perfect. Uh, honestly, uh, this morning, like, it's really chill in the garage like it's really way colder than it used to be last week so we are uh i, I mean i'm feeling really really good with that because it's fun to start the morning and just be a little bit chill and then you start moving working on the car and like everything uh, is feeling great you just get a bit warm but uh, you're not all sweaty it's all cool this morning, uh, we're gonna attack uh, the steering column, removing the steering box, stuff like that. We're gonna start by uh, basically finishing the grinding on the welds. Uh, that's something we forgot to do last night. And uh, yeah, so basically yesterday we didn't finish that and uh, we just started removing everything else. So that's part of the game. And good news, is that the wait i need to re double check i receive a, an email this morning telling me that parts will be here earlier than expected ah it's not it's not the steering column it's the uh, pedal box so that's no big deal because honestly what we're gonna do right now is start it, we will just start removing all the steering column and uh we will even try to remove it today from the inside to get more space in there then we're gonna uh basically remove the brake pedal in there because i ordered a i was to say a brand new i ordered a really good condition uh 40 year old uh pedal box that will include brake pedal and the clutch pedal so i'm having all of that uh coming here with like all the mechanism the springs and everything so that's gonna be so good it wasn't cheap it wasn't too bad it was like you know i guess the fair amount the fair price for it uh was a couple hundred dollars but yeah basically it it was in really good condition everything's included i have a brake pedal clutch pedal brake switch clutch switch uh, all the spring uh, all the little le lever and everything it's really good it's really really good so uh yeah we're gonna be uh working on that really soon because we're gonna have to fit that clutch pedal in place so hey that's gonna be quite a lot of work but that's gonna be good and uh that's gonna be i think more interesting uh, at least for me for, than uh grinding and welding well welding is cool the finishing is not <laughs> the finishing is like just trying to make everything smooth in it and in there whoa it's so long it's so hard so like it's hard and not at the same time it just takes forever maybe because i don't have the proper tool but i don't feel like my tool are too bad so who knows so yeah this morning we're gonna uh, just finish that i'm not going to bring the car down i feel like i can easily reach and even see better what i'm doing in there since we have done the first uh, surface like the that side we're gonna do the underside right now so let's go i'm gonna move the camera and i haven't as usual uh take a look if the camera was uh, working this morning was too busy trying to chase a mouse that's inside my garage right now like i was preparing the stream and heard like some scratchy noise i turned around and there was a mouse with a leaf in it like in her mouth and i was like yo what the fuck dude what's your problem that's my garage my dad's son, not yours get a hell out of here so that's basically the encounter i had this morning i'm gonna try to clean a little bit the lens 
It's funny, eh? There's some plastic, uh, there's some metal chunk eh, in the lens, in the plastic cover. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, it's working, let's go. All right, so there we go. So this is the section we're gonna try to uh, basically smooth this morning, make uh, make that look really good. And then we're gonna uh, just go ahead and start removing uh, the parts that right at the bottom behind here. So, ah. Guess who just killed the freaking cam? Oh, that's the sound of a cam connecting and disconnecting. Hmm. <laughs> Merci. Thank you so much, Micah, for that. All right. It did turn on again. All right, let me try something. Yeah. I mean, it's Razer, you know, gamer stuff. It's uh, it's supposed to take a little, like just a little beat uh, here and there, right? Turn on. It's not working, right? Okay. Don't look at this. Last time the solution was pretty uh, simple. I almost threw it on the ground again. <laughs> Well, last time, giving it a second clap did work. Whoa! I didn't know I had that sound. That's racist! I, I, am I racist against the, the webcam here? All right. And turn on. <laughs> it doesn't turn on. Please do. Oh my god. All right. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Oh yeah. So uh, this stream this morning is going to be about how to repair a webcam. You take it and you throw it on the ground. And I wonder why the camera seems to be a bit uh, broken at the moment. Hmm. That one is the good one. I feel it because I hit it hard. It's going to be afraid. Hey, it's really not turning on at all. <laughs> does she does she really have a heavy duty webcam that will be so fun like how I will need to basically put bubble wrap around my webcam that I'm putting in there that will be so much better at the same time I will be uh, worried that it overheat but I guess overheating is uh, better than no cam at all right It's not turning off when I'm trying to, uh... Hmm... It's not turning off when I'm trying to ask it for it to turn off. So that's weird. And it doesn't have any sound, so yeah, the cam doesn't seem to be super happy. Wait for it! We're gonna try to find a fix. 
There you go. No. Still no signal. You could uh, maybe use a magnetic 4K camera uh, people use for security. Hmm. I feel like maybe the video quality will be uh, a little bit bad for streaming. That did turn it off. All right, I guess we are uh, with uh, no webcam now. Whee! Well, that's gonna suck. All right, let's let's give us a little five minutes. Anyway, it's early in the morning. It's not the craziest <laughs> stream start, but hey, part of the game. You use that at the shooting range? For what, for like, oh, you use them probably in the field to see if you hit the target. You have a screen where you're shooting. Is that it? Feel like it's gonna be a, a thing of cutting and uncutting the stream. Man, honestly, that webcam is seeing some shit. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if you will be able to see that. Trying to... Oh yeah, we see some particle in there. Look at the reflection and look at all the little dots. That's basically... All some welding and grinding uh, schmutz in there. Just at the center, to be fair. Honestly, otherwise, it's in pretty good sh shape, I guess. It's just that it won't turn up. It won't turn on again. All right, let's try to make that here. There. Okay, let's try it now. I'm gonna try everything in here. Oh, we got it. And we have my uh, coffee cup uh, this morning. <laughs> hey. My mug is perfect. All right, let's move that back in there. I'm gonna do that like this, like that. Honestly, I'm just a little idiot with that. I will need to change, uh, I, j I will just need to buy a better tripod uh, just so I have a proper clip at the top because there's a place to screw uh, the clip for a tripod and hold it in place like forever. It will never go on the ground again. I feel like I really need to try to get that warranty uh, on it even though it's a little bit up, I, it's worth trying it. And if I have a brand new one, I should probably uh, try to use it with, properly with a good mount. Boom, there we go. Cool. Hey, let's start. So, oh, Micah, uh, I woke up this morning and I played Tarkov. Uh, <laughs> I finished killing all my scav on Custy, so it's done. So, back to show show after that at lunchtime, probably. And I think Friday I'm gonna be trying to play a 
for a while not as much as the other uh, friday like two weeks ago but i'm gonna try to play quite a lot and i will also uh, keep some time in the morning to uh, make some improvement to the stream have a few ideas i need to test i feel like the idea of putting a, a microphone uh with like yeah putting a microphone uh for the uh, vocal command uh the voice uh, control should work and uh i'm gonna try it probably uh, this friday that will be cool i don't think i have anything planned so yep all right let's go this this there's gonna be quite a lot of sparks so i might try to preserve the cam a little bit by doing that all right oh sorry for the sound I'm gonna try to turn the, my volume a little bit down and uh, turn up the music volume so that it's gonna be more enjoyable for you there you go and I'm gonna put the ear protection because I hate it at first I thought it was a random sound starting
I'm in a different angle than I the other day, so might as well. Protect yourself, Cheetos. Don't do stupid cheat. Protect your eyes, protect your ears. It's important. All right. because there I went a bit rough like it's okay but I need to make sure I'm not going through the material where there is no well because that will suck in the arms. We're gonna go too crazy just like the other side.
more weld in there, I think. That's done. Three to go. Three to go. Then that edge and we're done.
go. Not perfect, not bad, just like the other side. All right, volume. Uh. It's so dusty. Hitchi knows is itchy. There we go. All right. So let's keep moving. Uh, basically, I just wanted to finish cleaning that up. Oh, fudge. I forgot to do that edge here. All right, here we go again. Shito's Happenos.
you know what's left for that? Primer. There we go. Boom. Protection acquired. So we protected the metal that way. It should hold against uh, rust for the next couple of weeks, which is pretty good. So let's start moving at the bottom here. Look at this. This is where we are going. That big thingy there. Let me just readjust the cam. Move the chair around. All right, so our goal right now is to reach uh, that, remove that part here so uh, we can see how much damage uh, was done to uh, the frame rail. Because basically, when they added the V8 in here, they decided, uh, did I turn down the music? It seems quite... That's what I thought. Okay. So yeah, like I was saying, when they fitted the V8, uh, like because the way the exhaust is uh, done on a V8, uh, they had to, I guess, move the steering box and they decided to go through the frame rail, which is a really bad idea. Uh, basically, you will be better finding another solution than doing that because uh, that here doing that kind of modification is a no-go uh, you get an inspection to do the car is uh, done you cannot go through inspection with that so our mission here is basically going to be uh removing the steering box we are replacing everything i said uh, like a thousand times now and uh basically we're gonna try to fix that and make something that will not show that like modification were done around there so that's gonna be a huge challenge uh, that's gonna be something hard to do but uh, yeah so that's what we're going to do so first of all we're gonna remove those bolts and see uh, what's going on we might try first to remove the one at the bottom of the steering box here so we can remove that uh, pivot point once disconnected everything should come out so I mean that's what we hope let's see if it's going the way I think it will so uh, yeah let's go and do that I'm gonna put the chair under there I'm gonna try to look if it's a 14 mil on uh, on here yes it is so that means I just need a battery and I just need to uh, grab Probably the wrench, in fact, because if it's 14 mil inside two, because those bolts don't go through the entire firm rail, they are in here. I just need, yep, it's 14 mil too. All right, so that, that, let's just see how that tight it was. Gosh, people. well there we go 14 mil bolt in good shape so we're gonna keep at that for future future uh, usage I guess and that one will be reachable and yeah we need to remove that so let's see 
what kind of box goes into that. Probably a one inch or something. 24 mil, 24 mil I will say. <coughs> oh, bigger than that, damn. Yeah, it's a, exactly a one inch, and I don't think I have those. Really? However, I do have a kit of uh, big bucks, big socket, and mills. Where are they? Oh, 29 to 39. I guess 29 is gonna be too big. to reach just going to put the camera a little bit on the side so I have place to move and we're gonna do that here let's see if the 29 is way too big yep could give it a try but that's asking for trouble so I guess it's gonna be with a wrench instead. Bigger than one, for real. Damn. That's crazy. One and one eight, my biggest wrench out there. And it's a another win. What's in between one and one and one eight? It's like a 26 or something. Well, we're gonna have to do with that one, I guess. Oh, or I could use that with a hammer. It's hammer time. We're gonna go with that instead. So that should work perfectly so we won't strip that note for nothing. And now if I want to, um, I will try to not receive hello there. any fluid. Hey, hello there. Woo, there's two people in here. What's up, David? What's up, Val? Good morning. No more grinding this morning, cause yeah. And uh, look at my mug. I'm gonna show it there. Look at this perfect mug. Here's our back. Just gonna be uh, smashing stuff. Well, that's not going anywhere. kind of a big problem in here. We kind of have a good problem in here. Would you imagine that if it was like a reverse threaded uh, 
Nut, that will suck. Oh, I receive a transmission fluid on my jeans. Nice. I love that. That's cool. All right, so I need to figure out how to remove that one there. One possible solution is to basically uh, just uh, cut it. <laughs> but I don't want to go there. Mm -mm -mm. I can try one other thing uh, that I'm thinking of. Even if the nuts is not uh, fitting perfectly. Do I have something else? No. I can always try to uh, make a lever out of two keys. See how it goes. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna take the 29 and try something. Yeah, that one's not fitting. That's one. That one is loose. Oh, we got it. Let's go. All right, so one meme there is on internet. If you see uh, if you see someone doing that with French, with wrenches, uh, basically get a fork out of there. Today, I'm chip de genre 2 mm sur mon windshield. Je devrais ça aller au lobo faire remplacer. Legit, oui. Si tu as de quoi, euh, j'irais juste pour qu'ils mettent la résine qui empêche euh, la craque de grossir. Parce que sinon, tu es à guise d'avoir. Euh, de faire euh, juste comme une craque à grandeur du windshield. Tu es mieux de le faire. Je pense que ça coûte genre 50 ou 60 pièces. Si je me trompe pas, là. Mais ça me semble que ce pas si cher que ça. Euh, je l'ai jamais fait, mais quelqu'un m'avait déjà dit qu'il l'avait fait, puis c'était pas si mal. Genre, ça prend 15 minutes, il installe la machine, ça fait comme une espèce de sous-vide qui remplisse la résine dedans. Fait que euh, toute l'air est enlevé de la craque pour basically mettre euh, de la résine. Puis ensuite de ça, c'est genre GG. Ça sèche le temps de le dire. There we go. And now we're gonna use that same old technique, just releasing the pivot. Please fall. C'est couvert euh, par les essences. Je sais pas si je réclamerais pour ça. Honnêtement, je sais pas si je réclamerais. Chaque fois que tu réclames, ta prime d'assurance peut monter l'année suivante. Tu sais, c'est... T'es mieux, genre... Un pare-brise qui éclate, le oui. Tu sais, un pare-brise qui doit être changé, oui. Mais euh, le pare-brise chippé, si c'est juste une réparation de pare-brise et non pas un changement, je réclamerais probablement pas pour ça. Parce que tu fais une tâche à ton dossier d'assurance, c'est comme moi. OK, ça peut valoir la peine dans ce cas-là. Mais c'est ça. Toi qui, à chaque fois que tu fais ça, tu, ça reste que tu fais une tâche à ton dossier, veux, veux pas. Fait que... Est-ce qu'après, au renouvellement, tu la prime augmente peut-être pas là, mais est-ce qu'au renouvellement, ils peuvent te, te chier ça un peu? C'est plus ça qui serait ma crainte, mais bon, c'est peut-être juste moi qui est parano et euh, qui fait pas confiance aux assurances. Puis tu chaque fois que... Chaque fois que tu demandes de quoi ton assureur, basically pour lui, tu... Tu deviens un cas plus à risque de demander des réclamations. Fait que tu sais, à moins d'un truc majeur. Well, 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 can you just release little pivot? Non. 
not rusty at all. That's not working. Basically what I'm waiting for is that for that lever, that pivot point to just come down here and just release itself from the stirring box. That way that will be just one uh, shaft going at the bottom there and we will be able to unlock everything. But right now it's not doing that yet. What's frustrating is that I don't seem to be gaining any. I just broke it. Damn, son. <rire> ben, quand même, euh, assez souvent en anglais parce que, par exemple, il y a souvent Mica, Lump, euh, NPV qui sont dans le chat, tout ça, qui, qui sont là vraiment, vraiment régulièrement. Fait que plutôt que faire comme une exception pour eux, c'est plus simple parce que vous parlez tout en anglais. Là, fait que euh, screw that, le fait que j'ai un accent de merde, puis euh, send it. Puis ben, Danny qui m'a dit que vu que justement je fais attention à ma prononciation quand un euh, minimum puis que tu sais que j'essaie de parler comme du monde ben que c'est pas trop dur à suivre il euh, arrive à le suivre euh, même euh, quand je parle euh, en anglais fait que Gigi c'est juste euh, quand c'est euh, des gens que c'est leur langue première euh, là ils comprennent rien parce qu'ils parlent trop vite un peu comme euh, du monde euh, ne comprennent pas quand on parle français tu sais All right, we're trying something else. Let's try not to put the, not to set the car on fire again. Cause yep, that happened. Uh, to Quebec exit. <laughs> Try to warm up the other side here so that it, the metal will expand. And if that happens, we should be able normally to, uh, to remove it just by smashing on it. Smash.
pa 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 ya I just received some oil in the face. Nice. I hate it. I hate that because basically it's looking like blood. So it's not like trans like transparent or anything I just received some red oil right in the face fucking hell all right is it hot no kidding One thing I just realized, so I did one thing wrong. I did remove one bolt that I should have left there. <laughs> oh, you, the car is bleeding on me. Should have left that one in here. So that way, I'm not going to do that. It's gonna hold it even better in place. That's not moving for shit. All right, let's try something else then. should just be sliding at the bottom there. The well, last thing I'm gonna try to move it to the other side. Fun, 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 fun. All right, <clears throat> here the plate is not holding with a lot of things. So we might just try to open that up from behind here and see if uh, we can basically get access to that 17 it is. All right, if we can get access to the back here, we might be able to just disconnect. Because basically there's a plate here, there's also another one here, but that one is just welded at the bottom. So that's really not secure, but hey. Seems like the car was holding like this, so who am I to judge, right? Well, that's really bad, to be fair. Shwing! Shwing! 
Hein, David, Seb est à Québec euh, aujourd'hui, puis demain, ça se peut que j'aille dîner avec eux euh, demain midi. Prends des photos. Pas le temps de prendre des photos. En plus, c'est genre un dîner barbecue sur la terrasse de Squeeze Québec. Je pense que c'est le client de leur film et est à Québec, fait que euh, toutes les superviseurs descendent. Louis devrait être là. I guess Rémi aussi. Should be fun. All right. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna try to just remove the entire thing in here. That bowl just snapped. Wow. All right, then 14 mil action. on something that doesn't hold much. If I can get an access point from here, now that the plate is fully. Oh my God, that is bad. That is so, so bad. to just pivot that. That's still hot. We will keep that in there. All right. If you want to see what I mean by it's super bad, oh, I almost threw the cam on the ground. There we go. So basically we're trying to remove that. And that is the plate. And except for some bolts in there, basically, the plate is completely loose. The only thing helping it is a really, really bad welding at the bottom. Look at this. You see? Welds with holes in there and welds. That one is not too bad. That one is painful to watch. Poor car. What happened to you, bud? All right, so we will go like this. 
think I'm just going to cut that at this point and uh, take a look at what's going on inside. With that gun, we will just be able to remove the entire thing, so might as well. It's not holding anything, like the car is still solid with the plate at the back. So we're probably gonna start uh, repairing the frame, rail, the frame rail from here and then removing the plate at the back uh, last once like three sides are done here so that the car will not bend and uh, destroy itself. I'm gonna turn down the volume of my mic but before I'm gonna change to a cutting disc but yeah buffer action incoming Done that. Where are my cutting disc? Wait, where are they? What? That's not them. Are they here? Somewhere. That's an old cutting disc. I want a brand new one. What the? Okay. I've lost my cutting disc. GG well played. Well, I have one here that's not in a too bad shape, so let's use that. Screw you, cutting disc. said let's turn down the volume of my mic that
just like I planned. Cutting the welds and then boom, bedding, bedang, it's done. So we're gonna have plenty of space to remove that right there. So if you wanna see a bit better, bedding, bedang. So this is the module we're removing. This is the steering box. We're gonna be replacing basically that with uh, the thing I showed on stream uh, earlier this week. Well, look at this. So the part there is gonna be replaced by that. They are doing the same, just using a different kind of tech. So, like no car from what I, I know. Maybe Jeep still use that kind of steering box. But uh, other than that, I think no car use that anymore because they are not great to drive. They are a bit boring, unintuitive, not fun to repair. So yeah, I mean, at that point you could ask, uh, is there anything fun to repair? That would be fair. Unscrew. There. Then that one. Stirring box is really loose. We're gonna disconnect uh, from the, the the interior of the car. So basically, what you need to know about uh, we don't see shit like that. Is there dust on the lens? Nah. Yeah, I mean, that's better. Uh, what? Uh, bro, savais-tu qu'elle est en de CRV de 98 à 2006 venait avec une table pliante dans le coffre? Ouais, euh, j'ai un ami qui n'avait un. Qui n'avait un puis qui avait la table pliante. C'est freaking sick. Par contre, les all-wheel drive pétaient vraiment souvent. Fait que tu manques peut-être pas grand-chose à ce niveau-là. Il se faisait manuel aussi, ce qui est vraiment plus cool et swag. All right, so basically, as you can see here, uh, this is where the steering column is coming out of the interior to the engine bay. So that here is uh, the connection. So what we're about to do uh, really soon is put a steering column from a Subaru a BRZ in there. And basically, we're gonna be uh, going through the firewall like this, have that universal joint as a connector. And instead of going like that, we're gonna have just an angle, like a metal uh, cylinder doing an angle and coming to another U-joint like this over here to the steering rack from a Fiat. So that's the plan. And and so to connect a, a Subaru part to a Fiat part, you just need to have the proper universal joint on each side. So that should be quite easy to do, like shouldn't be too bad, but we'll see later. It's always easy until you attempt to do it, you know? So that's, yep, yeah, that's gonna be, I think, a 12. Oui, je sais que t'as wheel drive, mais je veux dire, Dans, dans euh, le temps, c'est ça, c'était nice, il y avait des options nice, mais le all-wheel drive, il pétait vraiment souvent, puis basically, quand il pète, euh, c'était très difficile à réparer parce qu'il fallait changer une pièce euh, au complet qui était vraiment de la merde. All right, let's see if it will lock. I don't think it will. Are you going to lock? No, you're spinning forever. Oh, you're locking. You do, in fact. All right. Well then, thank you, sir. Now, I just need to make sure it stays in there. That's why I kept a bolt with its hand on it. Of course, the entire thing is spinning, right? Yup. 
Okay, so I need two key to wrench that. Parce que ça, mon ami, justement, il y avait, il en avait un manuel euh, avec la table toute euh, en option. Mais euh, quand c'était le all-wheel drive a pété, là, pouf, il m'a dit que c'était du gros caca. Gros caca bousin. everything Bad girlfriend, a trop peur des fantômes. Non, euh, c'est vrai qu'elle vient pas souvent dans le garage parce qu'elle veut pas me déranger, I guess, ou elle espère que je meure euh, en silence. Who knows? Aujourd'hui, ce serait difficile d'être au studio pour justement passer du bon temps avec Seb. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a, le cri? Come on, c'est important. Pas un gars stressé, moi. Ça peut gueuler dans mes airs, rien à battre. to do that all good so that means we should be able to free that up there you go there you go now that's probably quite a heavy when i think of it so let's get prepared for some trouble all right are we ready Voyons, t'insultes pas personne. J'ai pas de souvenirs. Tellement pas de souvenirs, je pense qu'il va falloir rejouer pour que tu me rappelles de quoi ça a l'air. Hey, on parlait de ça avec Ben cette semaine. Euh, Pensais-tu faire Extra Life finalement avec bébé en route? Euh, peut-être pas, hein? Ou peut-être que oui, puis tu vas faire ton police. There you go! Bam. Get the fuck out of my car! You dirty piece of trash. Euh, C'est le premier week-end de novembre. Tu te trompes pas avec euh, ça. Boom, there you go. Parce que bébé, il est dû en décembre, c'est ça? Je me rappelle jamais, trop de bébés autour de moi. Trop de bébés. 16 novembre, ouh! Ouh, fait que c'est clair, tu seras pas chez nous. Si ça arrive, tu seras pas chez nous. Mais on va être tous dans le Discord. Parce qu'il y a de quoi. Euh, si ça déclenche euh, deux semaines avant, c'est fort possible que ça puisse arriver. 
Fait que, good, good, good. Ben, on checkera ça. Parce que ça, avec Ben, on est en train d'essayer de préparer le setup tranquillement. Puis tout, ben, tranquillement. Il va falloir commencer à se dépêcher. Euh, ben, ouais. OK. Parce que, mais ça me euh, tu sais, 16 novembre moins 14 jours, ça donne pas mal le 2 novembre. Puis, il me semble, deux semaines avant, ça peut être à partir de n'importe quand. Là. Fait que tu peux être là pour 24 heures, puis au bout de 4 heures, te faire dire « Yo, euh, j'ai perdu les os, puis je m'en vais accoucher, puis ben, tu ne serais pas là pour la naissance de ton bébé. » Peut-être, à moins que ça prenne 10 ans, euh, genre à faire. Et ça, parce que là, en ce moment, je suis tout euh, là-dedans. J'ai mon chum de gars avec qui je fais de la course, que lui aussi, euh, il attend sa deux, son deuxième bébé pour euh, septembre. Puis, c'était septembre ou fin août? Hum, je pense que c'est fin août. Puis, dépendamment de ce qui arrive, c'est peut-être qu'il ne sera pas là à un événement de course euh, début septembre. Parce que c'est ça, si elle a accouché avant, pas de trouble. Si elle n'a pas encore accouché, il ne va pas monter à sa heure. Euh, il va pas monter à sa heure, venir, euh, euh, venir courser puis se faire appeler de comme yo, euh, descend, fait 4 heures de route pour, euh, ben, 3 heures de route pour ensuite euh, atteindre euh, l'hôpital en temps, tu sais. Fait que c'est ça, fait que c'est pour ça. Mais comme je te dis, dans, euh, worst case, on va se faire un gros Discord. Euh, on, on va se faire une grosse session Discord, puis toute la kit, puis genre, c'est ça. Faut check qui, quoi, quand, comment en ce moment encore, là. Fait que, tu sais, I guess que les cinq de l'année passée vont être là, puis il faut jouer s'il va y avoir plus de monde que ça chez nous. Si oui, il euh, y a de la logistique à faire, tout ça. Puis, euh, ouais, euh, va être pas pire. En plus, je pense que je vais avoir un giveaway à faire euh, durant... Euh, durant euh, l'Extra le, le Life cette année. Fait que ça, c'est quand même cool. Faut que je check pour un système de giveaway euh, intéressant. All right, so at least this is holding all together. So we just have removed that thing here. Uh, this is super heavy. That's gonna be quite a lot of weight. I wonder if it's heavier than uh, that thing here. Yeah, it definitely is. So basically, uh, just by removing that, we're gonna save some weight on the car even more. That's so crazy, that's so cool. Qu'est-ce que tu veux dire? Le turn de wheel comme les beans, tout ça, là. Ça, c'est sûr, sûr, sûr que ça revient. Il va y avoir un kit de sauce piquante avec peut-être un jeu euh, basé de, sur des questions-réponses autour de sauce piquante. Euh, ensuite de ça. Oh, what else? Oh, il va y avoir. Euh... C'est ça, il va y avoir euh, le turn de wheel, ça c'est sûr, il va y avoir les sauces piquantes probablement. On a parlé peut-être de mettre une euh, one chip, euh, le one chip challenge, là. la chip extra piquante au euh, Carolina Reaper, euh, que Carolina Reaper, hein, si je l'avais tellement mal dit. Puis euh, c'est ça, genre, mais la mettre comme à un gros prix, puis euh, si quelqu'un, genre fait ça, mais l'affaire c'est que sérieux, le One Chip Challenge, euh, en tout cas sur Amazon, c'est genre 100$ pour une chip, ça, c'est cave. Fait que euh, je sais pas si je veux m'en aller euh, sur une dépense de 100$, là. fait que euh, à suivre, mais c'est ça, sinon le reste, euh, je vais voir si je refais de quoi sur Tarkov avec Friendly Guy, ça serait quand même très cool. Euh, surtout à ce temps-ci, il, euh, il fait moins du contenu genre de oh, « on trouve des Friendly » tout ça. Fait que ça pourrait être juste, euh, même pour lui, euh, refreshing de planifier un, une bonne session de genre 3-4 heures comme j'ai fait l'an passé, où euh, on essaie juste de se faire des amis dans Tarkov et tout, fait que euh, ça pourrait être vraiment sweet. Euh, en tout cas, pour moi, là, genre, moi j'avais bien aimé l'an passé, ça avait emmené du monde aussi, euh, du monde de la communauté qui avait donné euh, au final tout ça, puis euh, ça, serait, euh, ça serait vraiment, vraiment sick. Ouais, fait que ce serait pas mal ça. Je mettrai encore ma stache à Delete euh, si, si on atteint un objectif. Je pense que cette année, je chatterai l'objectif à 15 friendly. Puis, euh... 
Sounds good. Pour de vrai, ça sounds super good. Euh, puis comme je t'ai dit, on va arranger de quoi. Puis en le sachant d'avance, mettons, tu dis, yo, euh, screw that, je veux streamer aussi, puis tout. Euh, même si tu le fais pas au complet, que tu fais, je veux, je veux le streamer pour le fun, euh, on pourra t'organiser de quoi, moi puis Ben, pour te faire un setup plug and play rapide. Puis euh, selon où est-ce qu'on s'en va avec Ben là-dessus, euh, peut-être qu'il va avoir même une petite, euh, des petites affaires euh, intéressantes qu'on va ajouter. On parlait de faire un test, voir si avec un site web de ces euh c'est Wiz, euh, je pense, les sites web gratuits. Euh, on veut checker si quand on a ça, si on en set up un que tu as le viewer de tout le monde dans, sur la page, ben si ça envoie un one viewer à tout le monde. Sinon, ta webcam, oui. Et que ça aussi, ça pourrait le faire. Fait que c'est ça. Puis tu sais, ce qu'on va faire au fond, c'est on veut checker parce que si c'est le cas, on va se euh, une page web où est-ce que il va avoir le, le don, tu sais, le, le pot commun au fond pour la gang. Puis ensuite de ça, il va avoir, euh, tu sais, il y aurait le pot commun pour la gang directement accessible par euh, la page web plus les streams de tout le monde, genre. Fait que ça serait vraiment sick parce qu'en plus, ça pousserait les viewers euh, vers tout le monde en même temps. Fait qu'au lieu d'avoir du monde à comme deux, trois viewers, d'autres à comme 10 10, 15 viewers, ben là, on serait peut-être capable de balancer les choses pour emmener ça vers, euh, tu sais, du comme... Au, au moins, si la moitié vont par le site pour regarder puis maintenir euh, juste leur quai, tout ça, ben ça ferait juste en sorte que, genre, on aurait des stats plus communes, genre, ça serait vraiment sick. Fait qu'on veut tester si ça marche, on n'est pas sûr, mais si ça fonctionne, man, ça serait vraiment un sick setup. Cool, 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 cool! That's done. We're getting somewhere. Basically, the only thing left in the car at the front is the front suspension and a brake system. Like, I'm gonna try to show you without throwing the cam on the ground like I did this morning. Nailed it. That's so crazy, honestly. I kind of want to just remove it. Look at that. Only thing left on the car. That thing. I will be just removing the holes at the back here, the brake line, and uh, three screws on top, and this is gone too. The entire uh, front will be empty, basically. And honestly, uh, I'm asking myself if we're not doing that. As you can see, uh, we finished that also. If you were not there this morning, uh, everything is grinded. Everything is uh, on primer now. So this is now super solid. And uh, we're gonna have uh, that same uh, tube coming from here to there, just to solid, uh, to make uh, more strength, to add more strength to uh, the frame, because this is strong. Uh, the bottom here is strong, but in between here, it could flex like uh, without, well, I was to say like, It could flex like uh, on a different manner. It's true and not true because of that thing. Well, like I already said, uh, the triangle shape is really the best shape you could have. Uh, you can have to make something uh, really strong. So basically having this and this and connecting it again like this is gonna be the stronger uh, thing we can do to add rigidity to the front uh, frame, the front chassis, uh, basically. So that's gonna be super cool. Uh, I'm really hyped to do that modification there. Uh, we still need to trim a little bit of things here. It's not looking really pretty or anything. So we're just gonna modify that. Uh, later on, but for now, let's keep moving with uh, the front steering rack. So that's pretty cool. The car is so empty, that's crazy. So what's our next step? Are we going inside the car and trying to uh, basically remove, mm -mm -mm, remove the, the steering uh, column? That could be a thing. Yeah, at that point, that could be a thing. Because if we do that, we remove this, we're gonna have plenty of access. 
then uh, we can also start removing the pedal box because we know we're gonna go there uh, first of all we might want to uh, in fact remove the brakes just because uh, removing them I think there's a mouse who just went from left to right here I know there's a mouse in my garage so you might see her moving at the back no fire uh, so far so good hello André Comment vas-tu? Ça se passe bien en ce moment, c'est pas trop rough. Back from my lighting round, what did I miss? You missed the steering rack, uh, the steering box removal valve. Look at this, I'm gonna show you what I just showed. So we remove uh, that huge thing here. I feel like it's maybe 25 to 30 pounds. And uh, the new steering rack uh, is about like 15 to 20, I will say. So we're gonna save a lot of weight just by removing that there. And uh, basically now, the only thing we have left on the car here is this the suspension so and the brakes so i was uh, thinking about what's our next step and i think i'm just going to remove the brake on like i don't need brakes at the moment because there is no engine there's nothing so basically when we're pushing the car uh, outside we don't even use the brakes so might as well remove them uh, just uh, remove all the fluid from there making sure that uh we are all clear on this side so that way we're gonna be able to even remove the brake module there and uh like the brake booster and the brake master cylinder and uh try to work our way around because i want to redo the entire brake system too so that's another thing on the list Whew, that list is uh getting heavy right <laughs> new brakes new clutch new uh wires uh new uh basically new frame reinforcement new frame rail in some spot uh yep that's quite a big project honestly but gosh it's gonna be cool honestly i'm still hype about it like so much so like i said uh we will move i think i'm gonna remove some tools from here bring uh the 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 oil uh, the oil drain reservoir and uh, just put that under there and uh, start removing the brake fluid. So that's gonna be a thing for the last for the co next couple minutes. Let me just remove that. My garage is a mess as usual. I have no time to keep it clean because we're working, baby. That's not the one I wanted. Just messed up. There we go. There we go. Bam. Bam. That way. New everything! That's pretty much it, to be fair. That's pretty much it. There you go, so, brake fluid. This is the only, the small holes right here. Look at this, it's so thin. This is the only thing that allows you to brake, basically. So that's pretty crazy when you think about it. There's a rubber hose here. We're gonna be removing that as well. We're gonna be replacing it with, uh, cause that one is really getting tired of living like it's all dry so it's cracked and everything so that's a bit dangerous and yeah we're gonna be uh, replacing that with a braided uh, hose line. Uh, 
Yeah, bread and hose, yep. So basically, uh, they're gonna be uh, stronger, they're gonna be better, they're gonna make the brake feel way better. That said, let's try to remove that. There's a huge chance that it's gonna break because those kind of things are just getting so rusty that uh, there's a huge chance they break. However, before go trying too hard, I'm gonna see if I still have the special tool for those. Yes, I do, and where's my 10 mil? So basically, there's this kind of wrench for uh, brake lines. I'm gonna show it in here, it's gonna be easier to see. But you can have those kind of uh, wrench that goes more all around the plug, and that's helping quite a lot. So that will be... I almost died. <laughs> I lost. Like, I just lost uh, my balance right there. All right. Well, it didn't break. That helped. Because, yeah, basically, uh, the way I'm thinking about it is that if you're about to put a lot of power in a car, you might as well want to make sure you have some good braking power, right? Because basically, uh, brake, like it's cool to go fast, but it's also cool to be able to stop properly. The brake kit we're gonna put on the car is a bit insane too, just like the rest of the parts. It cost a lot though, so I honestly was thinking about maybe another possibilities, but at this point, I feel like I might as well just throw the good stuff in there. Like you see, that's exactly the way you shouldn't think of that. Like going cheap on the brake system is probably the worst idea you can have uh, right now. So, yep. Yeah. But still, it hurts when you look at how much money you have to spend to have a proper brake system. All right, so the brake are going to bleed uh, themselves right now. I'm gonna see if I can just reach. If I can just reach uh, the cap, so, yep. So I'm gonna be removing that, so there should be more air getting in there. I need to look at one thing uh, also, is that the brake booster that help you have a light uh, brake pedal, like not a heavy one, because uh, basically with no brake booster, you will have a pedal, uh, a brake pedal that will feel like a, a rock under your feet. And uh, the fact that a brake pedal is smooth is mostly due to the brake booster uh, using the engine vacuum to make it work. And uh, one thing crazy about that is, uh, on that car, the bolt pattern on uh, the pedal side of the brake booster, that's something I'm gonna show you later, but it's supposed to fit, uh, the, it's supposed to be the same as the one from a uh, Toyota, uh, an old uh, Toyota SUV, so, and the uh, Toyota SUV one is a bit better, a bit stronger, so it should be a straight upgrade uh, in there. I think it's like uh, the, the old uh, Forerunner uh, one. So the Forerunner from the 90s, uh, the brake booster does fit in there. Uh, so I just need to take a look at this and make sure that this is true. But if it is, man, that's gonna be cool. And the bearing and everything, and the, everything is so stuck on the car right now. That's another thing. We're gonna do a huge maintenance of everything in the wheel and uh, like all the rolling itself. So yeah, so this is uh, going to uh, drain for a while. 
and we're just going to do the one on uh, the driver's side for now uh, just because I want it to be empty before uh, starting removing some other parts in there okay here I see how it was done all right I was looking at the frame rail right now and uh, yeah so uh, ASMR of uh, oil dripping into the pan we don't hear it from here but I do uh, I guess the mic don't take the does not catch that but I'm just hearing the little bloop 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 we almost don't hear it all right what time is it now 11:22. we still have like a 30 minutes to go and uh, i'm really unsure of what we should be doing at the moment because basically this is going to uh, empty itself uh i mean i can just go uh, ahead and try to accelerate the process by uh, applying a bit of pressure on the brake pedal might as well do that just so we don't have to wait forever for it to be done let's use that oh also we're gonna be removing the carpet in here that's for sure now it's probably almost flowy I put oil everywhere seems pretty good man my st my pedal box still has the still has the clutch pedal uh, switch there. So there's still a lot of oil getting uh, removed there. Try something. some air in here that's pretty good all right let's get down Boom. so right now we should be good with that yep it's almost done there still just a bit of it uh, falling so that's pretty good and then we're gonna be able to start moving in here. All right. So we might want to uh, bring the car down. In fact, that might be the next move. 
Are we, hmm. Gonna put the camera a bit at the back here. Honestly, I threw the camera on the ground this morning. I break it another time. Took five minutes to make it work again. But right now it seems like it's working better. Like I didn't lose the connection with it at all while moving it. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty, pretty cool. All right. And I we might want to do that, 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 and let's see if we can just at least uh, put the car a bit more on the ground. Just going to make sure this is at its place. All right. Yep, poor camera. I'm a camera beater. But like I said, it seems like it's working better now. So hey, if violence doesn't solve your problem, you don't use it enough. That's a joke. That's just a joke. Hey, I have to say, by the way, hello YouTube, uh, don't, uh, you don't, do not hesitate to come here on Twitch uh, if you want. Uh, it's gonna be a pleasure to uh, say hello. Cause honestly, uh, I just, release a VOD uh, two days ago and it already has like over 50 uh, views on it and there was more than uh there was more than 50 hours of uh there was more than 50 hours of watch time uh, last week so youtube is popping so your mother violence is never the problem violence violence is the solution i love it there you go so with that done it's gonna still be able to uh, drip in there and we're gonna have plenty of access to here so let's remove that oh yeah so basically I'm really happy with that uh, honestly uh, I would love some YouTube guys to come here over here and say hello. Uh, the front cam. Oh yeah, that's true. I wanted to do that too. All right, another good thing done. Are you going to play uh to play some Tarky this uh, lunchtime, uh, Micah? Are you uh, working on the Jeep uh, today? Are we able to reach that far in the garage? Well, that's gonna be hard. Oh, damn, that's my boy. Carry me, senpai. Oh, what that? What's that new logo next to your name, uh, Micah? Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Ghost pepper and veggies, uh, and veggie for eggs uh, with cheese and some, uh, nice. Protect President Vinto, let's go. Like you and Lady all are so off, often in here. Helping me, brainstorming with me, laughing about me, putting the, setting the car on fire. Like, you know, I feel like it's more than deserved. <laughs> oh, that was David in that scream. Uh, uh, Margaret. <laughs> and his name is, yeah. Uh, let's go! <laughs> and that was funny because uh, Murgay's dude uh, that's in the chat, that was him uh, screaming with Flo uh, in that last Flo uh, screen. The one I used when I had the scaf sound on TFG stream. So <laughs> that's pretty insane. All right, let's see here. Let's see that. David, uh, he, I think he hates Tarkov. He 
he like basically uh not the right one that one he hates Tarkov maybe because of me like it's not his kind of game and I basically talked about Tarkov 24 7 when we were working together uh, and I started playing that so he got tired of tired of hearing about that game he's like come on dude shut up <laughs> and I'm okay with that it's Lady Hole uh, that's gonna join us soon. I think, honestly, uh, we are Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dude. Uh, I think tonight, uh, Lady Hole, if you're available for some Tarky, uh, we could try to jump in with uh, Micah if he's ready for that. And uh, we could try to uh, carry you all over the Tarkov lands that we love. All right, you want to see the aftermath of when I set the car on fire, like the real one? Nice. That's all melted. That's burnt and melt. But like I said, at least the material itself was uh, supposed to be applied inside of a car, so it's, uh, it burns slower than most materials. So that was good, that helped a lot, but that's going right into the bin. Well, yep, that's the aftermath of uh, setting your car on fire while welding. Lesson learned. There you go. So we're gonna try to remove uh, the the entire uh, steering system. <laughs> yeah, right. Just some, you know, weight reduction, bro. Classic. Just like rust is lighter than carbon fiber, right? I'm trying to make the cam uh, adjust itself so you see a bit better. Oh, there you go. All right, so I'm gonna jump in the car uh, by on the other side, Ugh. and I'm gonna try to uh, basically, yeah, basically I'm gonna try to just uh, go ahead and uh, remove the steering column from the inside. There you go. Let's remove that. Cool. So that one should then be too hard oh that's true there's things I need to think about like the keys and oh shit <laughs> we might have a few surprise a rust has a character and a story yeah fair I mean so does carbon fiber when you're uh, doing it properly, right? But the, I guess it's not the same, just like a scratch on a good paint job is a car is telling a story. All right, we will hope for the best, but I just realized that this does clamp on there. So depending on how the one from Subaru is done, we might run into a problem. Cause uh, you know, that thing here needs to fit like on that shaft right there. So at least it's a really simple uh, design. So there's a good chance that the input shaft will work uh, perfectly with uh, with uh, the uh, other steering column, but I haven't looked at this before ordering, so we might have a bit of a surprise over there. Uh, just like here, we have a bracket that that is holding uh, two relays, so we're gonna have to look at this at some point. But for now, it's no big deal, I think. And yeah, we're gonna be basically removing those two screws to. Uh, Pull the steering column down here. 
and that one is super simple like there's nothing taking a lot of space or anything there so it should be pretty good uh, I, hopefully the the module uh, for the power steering is not going to be uh, in the way too much so uh, that's gonna help us too and here we have basically uh, the connection for uh, the speedometer so we're just going to unplug that and push the other side into the so that this is what connects at the back of uh, the speedometer uh, on the car the original one we will keep that because honestly I would like to try to fit uh, to like rebuild the cable uh, with a GM uh, and for the transmission and like yeah try to have a, a proper uh, OEM gauge working in there that will be so great I can hear the cable on the other side just gonna have to pull it from the other side, I think. I'm gonna try to push the grommet, yeah. Grommet is going on the other side there. So that way, we should be able to just remove it after that. So that's good, that's good. Now, what are you, these thing here? That's our next question. So we're gonna have uh, three screws because there's one missing, I guess, uh, in here that we're gonna have to remove. Then we're gonna have to uh, slide this out or just uh, remove that completely then we're gonna put that on the side because uh, this is something we're gonna be reusing that's gonna be the main key for the Datsun so still needs to do its job and uh, other than that looking at this we have the wiring room going like I said there's one thing here we need to remove basically I feel like I might be able to remove it right now doesn't feel like the screw is not tight at all i feel like it was put in there just temporarily by me many years ago that's how it feels at least because yeah there's nothing uh it's not a bracket from the steering rack so that's good that might be uh, an anchor point for the next one but basically what we will have to do on uh the one we will receive is uh make sure that we can just plug it just like that so we will see how it will work but maybe we will just weld uh those two tabs there uh, right into the steering rack with the same measurement so that will be great that will be the best thing so i don't care cutting that one and making sure that we have a uh, proper welding so that it doesn't break when uh, turning but yeah so that here is going to be our uh, big next step to modify on the car and it's supposed to be here uh, next week which is pretty insane there you go that is supposed to go like that right let's grab some screwdrivers uh let's grab i think that's gonna be a uh, 12 and i think on top here it's gonna be 19 18 something like this i'm gonna bring a uh, 17 to 19 so that should do the job oh i'm not 20 anymore it's hard to move in a car there you go all right and most of them are on the ground so that 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 and there was a 17 somewhere i think yeah there cool gonna bring the 12 mil and uh, we should be good with that let's just try it from here so that way i should be able to see if i have the right one 12 it is and is that a 17? Might be. 
No. So I was maybe right. 18. No. If it's 19, my first guess will have been the good one. It is 19, 19 and 12. And then with that done here, I'm just gonna grab the small and pack with a 12 socket, 12 mil socket on there. So it's gonna be easier for us. The 38 8 impact, that's such a great tool. There we go. Let's move. Let's put that on maximum strength. Now that might fall to the ground. There we go. Now we're just going to have to take a look at what's going on in here. Okay, I see that. There's just one bolt over here, and that's going to be 13. Of course it's going to be. I don't have a 13 mil in here just by chance. Don't think I do. So is that just one? The plate is holding just by one screw there. That's disgusting. I'm not proud of that. It's not me, Phil. Honestly, that one is not me. So, I'm not proud of the guy who did that. All right, let's move. And yet, basically with that unscrewed, it should, it should just come out of the way pretty easily. Uh, tu -tu -tu -tu, yeah, 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 we all do it. Uh, bucket of bolts after each project over the years. Oh yeah, that's the best. That is the best. I think, in fact, that's one of my favorite part. Even going to the junkyard, just grabbing some good uh, zinc plated uh, bolt out there on different car like in the interior that is so cool because after that you have plenty of like 10 12 13 14 17 mil uh, bolt that are zinc plated and they just like lay around your house well the garage and basically you can use them whenever you need them just a plate cover the hole because that was not aligning anymore right yep that's it there we go and i forgot to bring uh the screwdriver in here so might as well go and reach it all right so we are saving a lot of uh, weight with the other one uh, we removed there, but we're gonna add a lot of weight with the new one because this is just a tube basically. So that is just so simple in it's in the way it's done. Like it's so so simple. It weights nothing. I'm gonna grab the screwdriver. I'm sad I don't have one in here. Well, I do, but it's really really small. I was to do 
I was about to say something a bit uh, childish there. Up, up there. That's the exercise of the day, getting in and out of the car. Never on engine or drive train works it. It's always this thing. King and terrible getting lost uh, and our panel clips uh, through. True, true, true. A uh, screwdriver on that in here. Dumb, dumb that I am. Ah, it's Lump! What's up, Lump? How you doing, you beautiful person? Lump applying this. <laughs> okay. You know, when we say random sound, we are really. <laughs> nice. Nice. The little scab. I need to do more scab right now because basically I'm trying to. Uh, to get a, like a badass PMC right now, so uh, I'm getting super poor because I'm not running any scav at all. I did only one last night, just to Lump tell you. Is the scav exterminator. <laughs> like I have 300 Ks uh, right now. However. I did finish a couple of quests on Charline and on customs, so now I'm 23. I'm a bit less behind you. I was 21 yesterday, so I'm happy with that. And uh, my daily is almost done. That's another big win. There we go. Ugh. Stomach did a weird sound. The scav exterminator. Lumka. There we go. So we have the key barrel uh, secured here. We have uh, what we were looking for. So you can see the kind of plate allowing you to go uh, to the other side. And uh, the way it's done, we might be even able to reuse that. Oh, that's cool. We might have the possibility to uh, reuse that one. I hope. Wee! Woo! Universal joint. They're so good. That's so, like, who the hell thought that this design would work? Like, I don't know, but he's a genius, to be fair. So, steering column out of the car. We have no more steering system at all. So, from now on, we're gonna have to uh, move forward. That did the exact uh, thing I wanted it to do, which is uh, basically giving us space to uh, reach to reach basically uh, everything for the clutch pedal. Oh man, I think I also have most of the gear, the system. I might have went a bit overkill with uh, ordering a brand new uh, pedal box. Well, brand new, uh, like a really good condition uh, pedal box, but hey, it's done. It's gonna be here eventually uh, tomorrow, I think. Uh, it says and uh, yeah, so that means tomorrow or uh, in two days, but I think it's tomorrow and that means We're gonna be replacing a big chunk here and uh, make sure that we have a clutch pedal now Converting the car from two pedals to three pedals That's something cool Well, at least it feels like something cool for me <laughs> All right, I'm gonna remove that from the car. Let me get out of here. Whoa. Whoa. I'm so old. I'm so old. There we go. What's going on in here? My last two raids last night uh, ended uh, 
and extract can ping me and no progression. Rip, that sucks. Oh my god, I have a story for you later. Nice. Boom, let's go. So this is the uh, steering rack, uh, the steering column, I mean. So steering wheel plugging in here and when turning the wheel, this activates on the other end. And this is the plate going through the firewall. Like I said, we might be able to uh, keep that. So let's just have a look here. I'm gonna set that here and we will try to see if it is possible to keep it with us. Cause that will mean we can try to fit that. Like it doesn't cost anything to try to fit that to the Subaru one. And with that said, that will also mean that we could uh, just go ahead and uh, make a proper seal over there. So let's just throw that webcam here. Boop. And let's go like this. So what we are looking for is uh, getting that plate out here. There's a 10 mil at the back there. So I'm gonna grab a 10 mil. The wrench uh, 10 mil was on the ground at some point, I think. Am I wrong? Oh, I am, it's in here. Let's go, easy, easy peasy. Why is that not fitting? Let's see if loosening that single bolt here. Oh no, it's not. No, oh maybe. Yes, this is spinning now. Okay, so this is related to that. I thought it wasn't, but I just saw the mechanism. Uh, basically, if you look at here, uh, the mechanism in here is uh, quite simple. It's just uh, a bracket uh, that tightens some uh, metal side here. And we have some uh, dent in there. So that's helping uh, crushing the plate around the proper place in here. So this is probably the last thing you uh, bolt in there. Uh, I don't know why they didn't use the four holes instead of putting one big screw through that. It's kind of uh, odd to me, but uh, yeah. Maybe because uh, since they, uh, probably because they slided uh, the thing on the side, yeah, it was not coming at the exact same spot because they put the steering box through the frame rail. And now if we disconnect this here, we are probably going to be able to slide that in and out. So we have the rubber pad making the seal. I don't know if we're going to be able to take that out of there. I don't think so. I feel like it's just an adjustment uh, you can do, but that this is built uh, before adding that stuff here. That is plastic though. There's stuff falling on the ground that I don't know what they, they are. Hmm. If we remove the universal joint, we might be able to slide it out. All right, I'm not going to uh, focus too much on that for now, just because since we don't have the, the new one, we don't even know if it's worth putting some effort on that or not. So might as well wait and see that later on. So, that was a good morning this morning. I really think we did some uh, progression and that's super cool. So yeah, basically uh, frame rail, we have access now to uh, everything that has been butchered. Uh, direction, everything is out. Uh, this afternoon, I feel like we might just go ahead and remove the brake system uh, from the inside here. So then 
uh, the engine bay will pretty much be uh, fully emptied now and uh, I just need to take care that yeah, there's still enough weight at the front and yeah so basically with that removed uh, we will have full access to absolutely everything so that will be great I will also take a look to what kind of uh, master cylinder I need to put in there to make it work perfectly with the T56 uh, we're gonna add so uh, yeah we need to take a look at this kind of stuff uh, really really soon because it's coming along now so uh, on this guy I'm gonna go for uh, the lunch break I'm gonna go eat something I'm so hungry right now so uh, I'm gonna see you later in two hours in fact uh, I'll be back at two so love you all see you later ciao ciao